What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. So yeah, we're gonna keep on doing these little uh, bongo videos, man. And today it's gonna be a nice little quick speed exercise. That's gonna help you kind of develop your speed and timing. Yeah, you gotta love it. Welcome to Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. And if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button just to find out whenever I upload. And also hit that like button, man. I'm trying to tell you, it really does help me out, kind of help spread the word here on YouTube, letting them know that there's a crazy guy here trying to teach percussion. And also to all my day ones, man, thank you for all the love, all the support. Also, all the feedback you guys are, you know, saying, man, we need a dedicated day for one goals, and I'm trying to make that happen. Please let me know if you guys really do like this, man. And, uh, and I'm just trying, I'm trying, because I, I think we all need some bongo in our life. And for today's video, it's gonna be a very, very simple video, very simple speed exercise. Looks more than what it is, but. I think it's it's really gonna help you out kind of develop coordination, especially moving from like the embra to the macho and as well, kind of figuring out that timing, kind of slowing down and speeding up. But yeah, let me show you this uh, exercise. It's about to get kind of intense up in here. That is a workout. I'm trying to tell you guys, man. It starts, your, your, your hands start just doing some craziness like that. But yeah, let me show you what I'm doing. So again, as I mentioned, this is meant to really help kind of kind of push you to, to work on your speed, your coordination. Also maneuvering back and forth and coordinating between the macho and the hembra. And it's, it's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy, those things, these little exercises really do help and they really do kind of uh you know discipline you to 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 work on certain areas of your playing but to kind of start this exercise i actually started all off on the embra and i'm actually not starting on the one it's kind of like right before the one and later on in the video you're gonna see how I start counting it. So I start this exercise with three opens on the embra, starting off with my dominant hand. So it's gonna be open, dominant hand, open, non-dominant hand, open, dominant hand. And then with my non-dominant hand, I go and do an open on the macho. And that's actually, that one open on the macho is actually going to be your one. Again, we're gonna count it off later in the video and you're gonna see how everything kind of lands. So it's kind of, yeah, kind of messes with your mind. But yeah, let me show you that part. Disclaimer, that right there is probably like one of my favorite little combinations or riffs that you could do on bongo. I just think going, you know, from the hembra to the macho like that, oof, I don't know what it is, but it just, you know, gets me going. And literally what follows right after that is basically the same exact thing, except it's all going to be on the hembra. So it's gonna be four opens on the hembra starting off with your dominant hand. And it's gonna be dominant hand open, non-dominant hand open, dominant hand open, non-dominant hand open. And you're actually going to do that two times. So it's gonna sound like this. So to put that together, it's gonna sound like this.
And then to finish off this exercise, you literally just do two opens, but in this case, these two opens are gonna be kind of like, like hesitated or, or you know, stuttering a little bit. So it's gonna be kind of like what slows down this exercise. So you're just gonna do two opens with your dominant hand on the embra. So to put everything together, it's gonna sound like this. It's crazy, it's so, so easy. But again, like almost every other exercise that I've shown here, it's not just about getting the exercise down, it's about continue playing it and playing it without, you know, colliding with a note or, you know, hitting one note over the other. You know, like it's, it's supposed to feel secure and so you're supposed to start this very, very slow. Even though it's a speed exercise, if you're trying to, to obtain speed, the best way to go fast is start slow. So to put everything together, playing it all the way through, it's gonna sound like this. Man, you gotta love these like little exercises, man. I'm trying to tell you, when you practice them, it's, it's just you just start going crazy, man. But yeah, to count it slowly for you guys and play it slowly for you guys, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ah, well, yes. Again, like I said, quick little exercise on the bongo. It's fast, speedy exercise. So, you know, it's gonna help you take your time with it practice it it's gonna really kind of mess with your mind a little bit looks very simple very easy really you're just using you know four notes at a time and then ending with two and yeah it's 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 a beautiful thing you gotta love the bongos gotta have a lot of respect for the bongos so taking these exercises seriously you know with time little bit by little bit you'll get faster and faster and faster and again it's really just meant to help you work with like your speed and stamina within the coordination because sometimes we do struggle in that area and it's exercises like this that help us kind of maneuver from the ambra to the macho working those tones but all right y'all you already know what to do like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video have a great day